Well, now the Tennessee lawmakers are back at the state capitol, issues with DCS are near the top of their list of priorities. Yesterday, we heard from our state's Democratic lawmakers. Today, state capitol reporter Chris O'Brien heard Republican leadership's response and breaks down the debate over how to fix the system. We have workers who are extremely passionate, but extremely overworked and underpaid. Democrat leaders coming together, urging Governor Bill Lee to implement executive action. Raise salaries, commit to a case cap for these workers. The plea comes after a new state report found high instability for foster children in Tennessee. In 2020, one in eight children in custody were re-entering after less than a year. It's creating a demand that the supply of foster families cannot keep up with. We've now got more than 7 million Tennesseans in this state. Surely we have more families that can step up and help us to help these children. Both Republicans and Democrats agree we need more foster families. But calling for executive action draws a stark contrast. Government is not the solution to all of our problems. Governor Lee says that all the time. To think that you can fix it within a week or two weeks, it's going to take time. You know, he's already sent in an expansion letter to increase the pay of DCS staff. That's coming. We'll put it back. He'll put it back in the budget this year. Regardless, both sides agree that a fix needs to come sooner rather than later because DCS is in dire need. At some jobs, it's you know, maybe somebody doesn't get their hamburger, but if, if you don't do everything you can do with children's services, a child can die. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Now, Sexton says there's a meeting that DCS will have with members of the legislature in the next two weeks to talk about how it plans to use any funding it receives.